Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Linda. Here on this channel, I share videos about so important drafting and everything fashion. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to draft this gong sleeve. In this video, you're going to be learning how to draft and stitch this sleeve the proper way. If this seems like what you're interested in, you might definitely want to stick around and also ensure that you subscribe to this channel. So here on our work table, I have my pattern paper ready with me. Just picture this in a bigger form of pattern paper. So I'm assuming that this is my sleeve and this is the starting line. I just drew the starting line. And the next thing I'll do is just take a sleeve of about 12 inches plus one inch for the hemming allowance and then I just connect the line so this is just going to be the hemming allowance and then the next thing I'll be doing right now is just to bring my tape through and then I'll place it this way I'll be measuring four inches from this part and then four inches on the lower part and then also I'll go ahead to connect the line into a straight line and after this the next thing I'll be doing right now is just to come down by four inches from this part this is because i want to create a puff for the sleeve so i'm just going down by four inches okay just mark four inches on your pattern paper and then you need to roll the line from this line you're going to be starting our basic sleeve measurement so i'll be starting my mini measurement for my sleeve from this line i'll just go ahead and measure my cap's height so my cap's height is four inches just go ahead and mark four inches like this for you to get your cap's height you need to measure your both circumference divided by 12 plus 0.5 inch that is going to be your caps height so standard for caps height is 5 inches but mine is 4 inches so from there i'll be taking half of my armhole measurement i'm just going to mark it around this part the remaining uh, space there is going to be my stitching allowance and now i'm just going to connect the line from the top of the caps height to the 8 inches mark and i'm just going to curve my sleeve from that part so next thing i'll do is just to divide that line by 2 and get the midpoint and the next thing is just to create a curve if you are drafting a basic sleeve just go ahead and create a curve like this on the top and then at the bottom like this that is for the front armhole and then just connect this line like this as the stitching allowance okay if you don't want so much puff around the top of your sleeve just go ahead and connect it straight like this and then you're good to go just cut it out but if you want it to be curvy and puffy so well you can just go ahead and draw your lines like this so that the puff will stand out when you make your gathers around there just like i said initially this is going to be our sewing allowance and here is going to be our hemming allowance and now we're good to go just go ahead and cut out the sleeve to cut out the sleeve we're going to be cutting out the back armhole first of all and afterwards we open up this way and then trim out the excesses for the front sleeve this is how it's going to look like after we are done cutting out the sleeve and the next thing we do is just to go ahead and shaping out our curve like this just in case you don't want so much puff around the top of your sleeve just go ahead and trim out this part but in case you want a little bit of puff just go ahead and follow this line or just go ahead and follow the initial markings we did so i'll be taking out the top like this and i'll be using the second one for my sleeve so this is how it will look like on a bigger pattern paper my camera didn't capture when I was drafting this first one. This is my 4 inches mark, okay, for the gong sleeve and this is the starting line. This is the part where the puff comes in and this is the sleeve when it's wide open. To create a puff at the top of a sleeve, you need to create gathers around this part just like I am folding this paper. So just go ahead and make your puff before you attach your sleeve, okay? So this is how it's going to be after we are done stitching it together. Next, I'm just going to place this pattern paper on top of my sleeve to cut out two pieces for both sleeves and I'm still going to cut the same thing on my lining. So when you're drafting this, just go ahead and use your own measurements, okay? So measure the round um, circumference of your upper arm and then use it for your sleeve. So guys, I'm still going to be using this pattern paper as a template to cut out my gum stay. So I'll be cutting two pieces for each sleeve. I'll just go ahead and place my sleeve like this. I want to reduce it by half of an inch at the top and then one inch at the side. This is because I don't want to stitch directly on the gum stay, so I'm just going to take out all the excesses I'm marking out. After I was done cutting out all the excesses on my pattern paper, I'm going to duplicate the same measurement on my gum stay and then cut it out. This is because I'll be having two gum stay for each sleeve. So here's my pattern on my actual fabric and also the lining. Next thing I'll be doing just to go ahead and Place the boot of the gum stay, making sure that the gum side is facing the lining and then just going to press that with my iron. So after I was done pressing it, I feel like the lining refused to attach to the gum stay so I supported it with my hemming gum. And then the next thing I'll be doing is to attach my red line boning here, around this part and also somewhere around here. 
so i'm taking four inches from that part i'm just going to connect it and then also draw a straight line like this this is where i'll be attaching my ridge line boning because ridge line bonings are sewable on top of the fabric so i'll be placing one on the lower part like this and i'll go ahead to stitch it down on both sides of the ridge line boning and then i'm just going to place another one right on top of the black line i marked with my marker this is how it's going to look like after i'm done stitching it so guys i am done stitching the boning together with the lining while i was at it i discovered i don't have enough fridge line boning for the other sleeve so i decided to improvise so i had to make a casing for the channel using a bias strip so i'll be using this other plastic kind of boning to replace the ridge line boning and i'm just going to insert it into the casing always endeavor to place your boning bent backwards like this so it will look curvy now the next thing is to place my main sleeves together with the lining right side to right side facing each other now just go ahead and stitch it this way and this way so guys this is how it looks like after i was done stitching everything i also went ahead to top stitch on it towards the lining part and then close the top as well you can see that the lining are sticking together with the main fabric next i'll just go ahead and fold it this way and stitch it by one inch and also i'll do the same thing for the other sleeve as well so guys this is how it looks like after i was done with stitching of this sleeve and you can see how it has formed into a gong and this is how i'm going to attach my sleeve to my top okay this is the sneak peek of the sleeve looking great on this top i made i already have a tutorial on my channel of the part one on how to draft this top and i may be uploading the part two on how to stitch it right before this video comes up on my channel well whichever comes first with that being said we have come to the end of this tutorial if you like this video kindly hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like share and comment what you think see you guys in my next video bye